This video is one of three that details the IBOS program developed at Iowa State University under the direction of Dr. David Gruel, Department of Agriculture and Biosystems Engineering. IBOS, which stands for Interactive Biorefinery Operating System, is simply a simulator for biofuel plants. It is similar to flight simulators that are used to teach pilots how to fly and allow them to learn from mistakes without endangering anyone or without resulting in costly errors. With the growing number of biofuel plants, there is a corresponding need to train operators, plant managers, and designers with the skills required to optimize the operations of these plants. This simulator is modeled after biodiesel plants. The simulator has interactive looped videos from real biofuel plants on large screen displays that are coordinated with the simulator so that operators, in this case students, get the feel that when a truck shows up to drop off feedstocks, they will see the truck on the security camera as well as the control panel. Because the desired feedstock is highly dependent on the prices of various feedstocks, namely soybean oil and animal fat, or tallow, the simulator is designed to match plants that can process both feedstocks. The operator simply picks the feedstock of choice and then must process them accordingly. Either the operator unloads soybean oil or tallow, then sends the feedstock through the various pretreatments. The simulator is based on fundamental transport phenomena of mass and energy conservations with one kilogram elements. As each element leaves the truck and is transported to storage and moves through the plant, it has defined attributes such as moisture level, oil content, contaminants, and temperature. As each element travels through the various unit operations, the relative value of 20 plus attributes change as a function of time. Each of the one kilogram elements has attributes that can be listed and changed by the instructor as needed. In addition, the instructor can define the quality of the soybean oil or tallow before it is delivered to the plant. This gives the students a challenge in optimizing the plant's performance and output. Depending on the feedstock, the operator must adjust the pretreatment operations as well as the parameters to optimize the performance of the plant. Because many of the unit operations can take a long time, there are cases where the operator or the instructor may want to change the time scale by simply speeding up the clock so that operations that would normally take hours can now take just seconds. As the simulation progresses, the system monitors and records the feedstock, water, and energy usage so that the student's performance can be measured in how effective they were in maximizing profits. In unit operations involving transformations such as preheating, free fatty acids removal, or in this case transesterification, general differential equations are solved numerically to produce transfer functions that can model these operations. These transfer functions include all of the standard variables in industrial applications such as temperature, composition, pH and contaminations. The system is configured in a way that future unit operations can easily be added or modified. For example, in a future design, the feedstock could include oil from algae or some other feedstock. When operations go beyond limits or components fail, such as a pump failure, the students are prompted to respond with alarms. In the IBOS room, sirens and flashing lights are activated depending on the severity of the condition. 
The students are measured in terms of their response and response time. At the end of the simulation, the quantity and quality of fuel that is produced is reported, allowing the instructor and student to evaluate their performance. This also includes the amount of energy they used and the cost associated with their operations. This will allow current and future biofuels to be better optimized. This project was supported by the USDA, Center for Crops Utilization Research, Crown Ironworks, Cargill, Emerson Electric, Branson Ultrasonics Corporation, Fast Tech, and Lincoln Way Energy.